What is up? I'm Wanted Turtle, and today we have a Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. It's been way too long since our last opening. Today we are doing another box of Fist of the Gadgets. We've opened one of these boxes before, and we got a great box. We pulled a elephant, uh, eagle, and panda, which were the three that we were looking for. We're hoping for similar pulls right now. We have a bunch of our sleeves. Actually, I feel like... We've been opening so much Hidden Fates that I'm out of the Pokemon side sleeves. However, we are fine on the Yu-Gi-Oh front. And it looks like also we could go for that Scrap Recycler as well. This is one of those pack sets that does open pretty fast. You know, there's only 5 cards per pack. And we have 24 packs. We're opening up the entire box today. Let's do this. It's good to be doing a Yu-Gi-Oh once again. Let's get into our first pack. So, streaming, we've been streaming a lot uh, last few weeks, and later today we're actually be doing some more. So we'll be playing some PTCGO. If you do want to have a match, definitely join the stream. Uh, it is simply, uh, or actually just this channel for YouTube, and we're also going to be on Twitch at uh, Twitch at I Want a Turtle. So our first secret is Fire Fortress atop Liang Peak. Pretty cool. Ah, oh, okay. It's been a while since we've seen these. A lot of fire formation stuff. All these Brotherhood of the Fire Fist cards. And a bunch of, like, Summon Skull kind of archetype. Or a lot of Archfiends. Alright, pack number two. We got Silver Gadget. Fire Fist Spirit. Brotherhood Cardinal. Cool. And then a Rast Raster Liger. Followed by a Peacock. Alright, I think this is one of the cards on the pack. And to kind of promote the Twitch side, because we are starting to uh, do Twitch streaming, so we do want to get some uh, good follower count and all that jazz, we're probably going to be doing some giveaways on the Twitch this evening. So uh, definitely, you know, follow the link down below and be a follower. And if you are participating during the stream, we'll be doing some giveaways for some Hidden Fates dupes. We have Archfiend's Call. That art looks amazing. Summon Skull was like the card back then. You know, the probably like the strongest turn. If you went second, like the strongest opener was. Let's assume they, they just special normal summon like 1800 or something. You would just change of heart uh, and then tribute for Summon Skull, attack for 2500, and then lay your trap hole. And then, like. And then, assuming they play something that you just trap hole, like it's almost game at that point we have fire formation tanky so far I'm not pulling anything too crazy all right so how hope everyone's having a good friday and looking forward to the weekend for everyone that is going to be participating in the cosmic eclipse pre-releases best of luck and hope you get some good pulls i am considering going uh there is a couple lgs's near me but I'm kind of undecided. There's a couple on Sunday that I'm considering. But uh, if nothing else, good luck to all of you guys. And hope you guys have a blast. I like watching videos uh, of their various pre-releases. Sub-Terror Final Battle. Ooh, Fire Fist Bear. Nice. Pulled a bunch of, or got a bunch of these ultimate rares. Oh, nope, that's the wrong pile. Infermage Sloth. And Archfiend's Awakening. Alright, let's keep going through these packs. I've skipped a couple of sets in Yu-Gi-Oh. The last thing I kind of like purchased were the 2019 Gold Sarcophagus tins. And the upcoming sets didn't interest me that much. But if there's particular sets that you feel like you would like to see on the channel, let me know. We have a Destroyer Dynamo. A couple people on stream have mentioned the upcoming like Dark Magician um, themed set. And actually that would be fun. That's one of the things I really appreciate about the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG is... They keep the various kinds of decks alive. They'll give the different decks, you know, occasionally they'll give the uh, kind of like the older ones, the ones that aren't doing so hot, they'll give it some love. Hopefully kind of make them more competitive. You know, Dark Magician is from day zero of Yu-Gi-Oh! And at least when I was playing way back when, you know, Metal Raiders days, it was just a bad card. <laughs> you know, compared to Summon Skull, they both have the same attack. One takes double tribute. But, you know, through all these different kinds of support, 
they can make it very easy to just get out and then a lot of cool stuff can happen while he's on the field so I really like that part of Yu-Gi-Oh I don't follow the meta that closely but I do like how probably like not in like a tournament setting but for just for fun people have casual matches and they can play whatever all right let's see let's start looking at the cards huh and a morphage luxury and fire formation ingen let's see I think we're almost done with the first half so I feel like we should hit something good soon usually these boxes kind of have like two really good hits power hold moving battery a goliath a green gadget, a lot of gadgets in this. Sign it optimization and boot up order gear force. Alright, ooh, scrap recycler, is that the one we're looking for? Uh yeah, alright, that's a good pickup right there. That'd be sweet if we can pick up multiple copies of this actually. Let's put this back here. Tiger King, sign it optimization again. Elephase and Dome. I just want to make sure we didn't get any other recyclers. I do want to take all those out and put them off to the side. And we're actually going to grab a sleeve for this bad boy as well. Alright, I don't see any other ones. We have our KMC, as always. KMC minis. Yeah, I gotta pick up more uh, Pokemon sleeves and perfect fits just because. Yeah, we've been opening so much Hidden Fates, and there are just so many hits in this set. That's why it's such a pleasure to open. We have Fire Fist Spirit. Oh, another bear. Very cool. The Hidden City. Silver Gadget. And the Peacock, once again. If you do, like, just, you appreciate having foils, like, these sets are amazing. Just, like, every pack has, what is it, six, five cards per pack? Four secrets and one, uh... Of course, uh, supers in one secret. Red gadget. We have all the gadgets at this point. We have a fire rooster. And then Sinto. So I don't. I feel like the. I haven't heard much about the fire fist. So I feel like they kind of fell flat. You know, they, the set didn't give them the love they need. And same thing for gadgets. You know, I don't think there was a lot of optimism for this set and it kind of came up short as maybe kind of like expected archfiends i also don't know much about but uh if that if that is a very reliable archetype let me know in a comment down below i'm actually super interested in learning the various ones but i don't feel like i don't have the time to dedicate to learning it like i'm still trying to learn all the stuff in the standard format of pokemon ptcgo which is going to be flipped on its head with cosmic eclipse we have a gold gadget for this one and then Elan. Oh, I thought it was an eagle at first. What's he got? He got like a big crossbow or something. Alright, actually, this is going super fast. We're almost done already. And so far, we just have a scrap recycler to show for our efforts. We got a shooting code talker. Ooh, look at this guy. Boot up corporal, command dynamo, dynamo, swap cleric, fire fist, or fire formation tensu, and ingen again. I feel like this lighting might not be ideal for all these foils when every single card is super shiny. Swap Cleric. Amorphage Goliath. Fusion. Oh, I love this art. Venom Fusion Dragon. Chronograph Sorcerer. And Archfiend's Call. I believe this is our third, second or third one. But yeah, I do want to keep the Yu-Gi-Oh! content coming. And if there's other TCGs that you're interested in, uh, I didn't. I do have like a purchase a couple boxes of the Eldraine, but I'm gonna keep those sealed. I believe I get. I am having like a bundle or something coming eventually, and so I will open that. But you know, to be honest, when it comes to Magic: The Gathering, I'm less inclined to open standard stuff, but for like master sets and stuff like that, or modern sets, those ones I'm more interested in. Like so, that's why we did a bunch of Modern Horizons. And if there's any other TCGs, you know, I, I do want to kind of reboot that WTF is this TCG series, but, you know, nothing has really caught my eye. We have Dynamite and Destroyer Dynamo again. Man, where, where are our pandas? Where's our elephant? And our first box was so good. I was hoping to get something similar. Green Gadget, Amorphage, Draco Fighter, 
Ah, Eagle, very nice. The guy has kind of fallen from grace quite a bit, but we will take it. The art is just okay. <laughs> And we're already down to three packs. We got a Scrap Recycler and an Eagle. I'll have to go through the cards again, make sure I didn't miss anything good. And uh, But if I did, let me know in a comment as well. Amorphage Lechery, Cardinal, Final Battle, Command Dynamo, and ah, that looks so cool. All the Arch Fiends, the art is always cool, but I feel like they're all kind of similar, just from like a different angle, maybe slightly different coloring, different like symbols in the background. And all right, down to our last two packs. As always, guys, if you do want to support the channel, there's a number of ways you can do so. Uh, obviously, hitting the like button and subscribing does help us on the YouTube side. We are going to be on Twitch later today, so definitely check us out if you have not, uh, you know, subbed or followed the Twitch channel. And lastly, join our Discord. It's been a blast, a lot of fun just chatting with you guys. I try to post, especially if you are always on the lookout for good Pokemon deals. I kind of post on there whenever I see something come up. Usually it's through the Pokemon TCG subreddit. All right, for our last pack, we have a gorilla and let's get let's get something good. Panda elephant, panda elephant. Here we go. Archfiend's ascent again. Man. This was rough. Let's just double check call Ingen, Eland awakening, Sinto Peacock, and then we pulled a number of peacocks, Swan, Dynamo again, Dome, Tenki. Yeah, that was a pretty rough opening. And I feel like these were our primary pulls. We have a Fire Fist Eagle and a Scrap Recycler. So I'm going to go through these again just to double check. But either way, guys, that was a pleasure opening. It's good to be uh, looking at some Yu-Gi-Oh cards once again. Uh, hopefully it won't be as long of a hiatus. So... As always guys, thanks for watching, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.